if we're honest, isn't this our life? 80%? Anybody can do. 15%? Someone with an, a, a modicum amount of training could do. The 5% is on top if we're lucky, but very often the one that needs to be first is the one that is often last. It's why they, Zachariah had to enter into the scene and speak to the people. And say, this is, there's no temple here because you got things out of whack. You put the 80% and the 15% before the 5%. He's saying it's not by might. You put that in first. But it's got to be by the Spirit of God. You got to put that in first. So, so what if we reverse it? What if we do put God in first? And we let Him be the foundation for everything else that's going to happen. Then a family, callings, relationships, physical health, personal, you know, and then now we've got what needs to get in there. We still have time to, we still got to work, right? God's not saying quit your job. We, we still got to do that. We still got to work and, and put, put the, the 15% in there that we've been trained to do and that we we pays the bills. We've got to do that. And then look what happens. Now, now the 80%, that's still going to get done. We still have to answer emails. We still have to return calls. We still have to do all that kind of stuff. But there's room now. And the 80% is no longer defining our lives. The tyranny of the urgent is no longer what it is that's causing us to make decisions about whether or not we have time to spend with our kids, with our, our friends, with our God. He's holding it all up. We make mountains out of molehills. What is only sand to God becomes an insurmountable obstacle to us when we put God last instead of first. What he's saying is what's first will determine what's next. For you and I, individually, and as a church, what's first will determine what's next. Legacy 2.0 will depend on you and I, each making an individual choice to say, not only is this my church, but I'm going to seek after God as never before. Amen. And I'm going to put him in first. And maybe for some of you, you're not, you don't spend any time with God and you're just like, I don't even know what that means. Just start somewhere. Start just 15 minutes a day before you go off to work. Just get the rock, the big rock, God in first. And then, then you're going to begin to see the fruition of the promise where he says, it's the mountain? Where's is, where is that mountain? That mountain in my marriage, that mountain with my kids, the mountain with my finances. What happened to the mountain? Well, God decimated it because a mountain is a molehill to God. And when we're seeing him first, we're seeing things the way he sees it, right? And then all of a sudden we're getting our priorities right and we're understanding that what God wants to do in this church is no longer dependent upon what you and I can just kind of get the gumption to make happen. It's now by the spirit of God. And though I want you to walk through your 5%, for every area in your life, what are your big rocks? Make sure those are in place. Today we're going to focus specifically on making sure what your 5% is at Legacy. What's your 5% What's your five percent here at New Hope Legacy? And to do that, I'm going to walk you through three rooms. 